I'm over the air, just so you know. That's fine. Um, okay. Uh, Michael actually uh, is done earlier, so he just was like, let's do it. So I'll go ahead and patch you through to him, okay? All right. Sounds great. Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. Oh, oh, sure. Hold on, please. Michael Winslow. So this that'll be our next guest here, Michael Winslow, the guest, the man of the hour. Okay. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Michael, are you there? Yes, I am. Sean, are you there? I am here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drop off and leave you guys at it. All right. Have hey, th- thanks again. Hey, Michael, how are you doing? Hey, how are you, man? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm honored to uh, be able to chat with you. This is actually the second time ever that we've had, actually had a conversation. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Good. Well, good to talk to you. Um, how's the weather up there? Oh, the weather, you know, the weather is kind of kind of cool for uh, for what we would normally expect here in South Dakota. Oh, oh, oh okay. Well, I'm trying, I'm trying to picture it in my mind right now. Okay, okay. Well, I suppose when you when, when I say the word cool, you probably mean, hey, it's cool weather, man, cool weather. Well, no, it's actually, it's, it's a little bit more chillier than uh, it normally would be uh, around this time of the year. Normally it's a lot, like, probably at least in the 60s or 70s, but today it's like in the 30s, or it's not in the 30s, but it's like in the 40s and 50s, kind of. Oh, so, so, you're, so you're saying it's uh <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little windy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but and, and, and so, so, so that means the birds are going. <laughs> yep, that's that's what they're doing. You know, they they said, "Oh, we're supposed to go south for the winter." Well, uh, it still feels like winter, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but I, I I appreciate uh, the fact that we're able to do this interview. Uh, it's been it's been a while since, like I said, since I, the last time I ever chatted with you was back in my Minnesota radio days uh, when I uh, worked at a, play, a radio station called Pioneer ninety point one, and I chatted with you back in two thousand six. And I thought, well, you know, it's been a while, so and I know you've been up to a lot of stuff since then, so it'd be great to have Minnesota, you back on Minnesota, Minnesota. You know that means that means. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we we have that. You know, that's kind of one of the reasons why I left uh, Minnesota. But then to find out here in the black. Oh yeah, I, you don't have to worry about that. I remember all of that, eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> what? What's that? I'll show you what it is. Dinner, eh? <laughs> Yeah, and and uh, and you kind of right on the ball there because I uh, where I lived it was real close to the Canadian border, so yes, so with the accents and stuff, you're definitely right on, my friend. Oh, I'm so glad you remember all of that stuff, eh? <laughs> well, well, tell me, I, have you spoken to any of those soldiers since all this began? <laughs> I I have uh, spoken to others, yes, yes. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> it's it's going to be back and warm. I tell you, man, that was cold. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, have you ever been up to the Black Hills area for any comedy event, or just passing through at all, ever? Oh yeah, I've 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 been up and 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 through the area before. Um, it's just that it's been a while, and it'll be good to to, to be up there again, you know, because I, I I try to visit everywhere because you know we're all over, I'm all over the planet, so you yeah, know, um, it, it's probably time to do, do some play some catch up. Yeah, uh, and as you know, uh, being a uh, historian, I'm, I'm sure you already know that uh, Rapid City is actually about 20 miles away from uh, Mount Rushmore. Exactly. Yeah, but you but you have to, you have to go through a lot of those uh, those, those wonderful um, uh, top gear type of uh, 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 road turns to get there. Yeah, and, and I enjoy that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just, ma- just make sure that it's a British automobile. <laughs> no, it has to be a German automobile. No, that's not Ed. It has to be a British automobile. No, it has to be a German automobile. Well, I believe that's... Oh, versus... Oh, <laughs> it has to be a German 
for how many animals you hit and how many points you get for each animal that you do hit. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> to start off the interview, my friend, uh, what have you been up to lately? Because I know you've been doing tours and stuff. And uh... oh, 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 about about six one. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> What's new in your life uh, since the last time we've talked? I'm sure there's a lot of things to talk about since 2006. Uh, a lot of stuff. I, I just I just got back from um, from uh, from Holland, and I, I did a, a, a whole series of, of these commercials. The um, the, the um, the Dutch production company approached me to do the sound of um, uh, things in, in a park. So they showed me some video of all the stuff that, they, that goes on this place called Center Park, which is all over Europe. You know, it's this beautiful park where families go, and you can do boating, you can do water skiing, and, 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 and that, 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 that power thing, you know, with, with the slime. Sure, sure, sure. And they wanted to do, they wanted to do the sound of, of all the things in the park with the animals, too. So that was very interesting. I was able to... to to get to about everything. Oh, well. some, some stuff. Some stuff didn't match, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, and, and, and and also, I've, I've got my channel on YouTube. Um, um, you know, Michael Lindsay TV, which is I'm about to, um, to put a whole bunch of very odd programs on the air pretty soon. Yeah, and I, I actually, I actually uh, seen your page on YouTube, and I thought that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Michael Winslow on YouTube. That's the next thing for and, you. There'll be more stuff. There's, there's more strange stuff coming pretty soon. I just, I just haven't put the parts together yet, but it's coming very soon. Oh, that's awesome! That's awesome. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I remember from the last time that I talked to you, and I try to have somewhat of a good memory. Uh, there was a thing that you did. I don't remember what. I think it was on WGN. Maybe was there a? a or, oh yeah, yeah. WGN uh, way back Wednesday. Yeah. That yeah. Was, um, that was uh, that was uh, out of Chicago, and and then WGN uh, was sold to some. It, it, it disappeared uh, in, in that particular uh, 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 format. It's back into something else, but that, that was fun. Well, yeah, they did, they, cause, because I was a fan of the old Elvira, uh, you know, it, it TV show Mistress of the Dark, and I was I was a fan of the old. Uh, uh, well, there was there was there was the uh, 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 Blake the Clown that had, had a theory. You know, there were all kinds of late night. You know, you know, you know, uh, a horror pimp you know, your first nighter, and that stuff that was fun. You know, because I used to sit up and get scared of being, you know, every night, you know, on a Friday night, because it was fun. So, um, doing way back Wednesday has kind of appealed to me, you know, in that same kind of format. Yeah. So I, I would, uh, and I would love to, and I don't, I don't think it's a mystery science theater. I would like, I would love to have sat in with him. <laughs> no, but I, I yeah, yeah, I, I really love the format of, of, of the sh- of the, what you did because it did kind of feel like a Elvira type of thing, even though it wasn't horror related. But I, I think they picked the perfect guy to kind of introduce. You know, I think what was the first movie you introduced? Was that Police Academy, the first one? Yeah, that was the first. It was the first Academy, and then after that, it was, it was whatever movie that that, that, that uh, was in the rotation. So I, I did, um, you know, piece, trying to do pieces for as many of them as, as I possibly could. And you know what? I'm I'm hoping we, something you know something similar to that will come back again. Yeah, yeah, that would be kind of cool because uh, you know, like I say, I mean, with with your list of credits and stuff that you've done already, I mean, it's it's amazing. I, I am truly simply amazed by just uh, not only just the fact of being able to talk to you for the second time, but but just the fact that uh, you know your people when when you say the name Michael Winslow, Either people think of two things. They either think of the Winslow family from uh, Family Matters, <laughs> or they think of you from Police Academy. So, you know, that's... Yeah, and, 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 and don't forget the British movie, The Winslow Boy. <laughs> Nobody's thinking about that in this country, yo! Yeah, but I am over here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh and so it's so just uh it's just quite amazing and i know uh recently here i think uh well since the last time we we spoke we you actually we've actually lost a few people who were on police academy and bubba smith and uh oh who was that other guy the guy who played not hightower that was bubba smith obviously but the one with the uh the one who liked uh to, to do the the guns and stuff you know I forget why. Oh, well, yes, that was, that was David Graff. He yeah. Tackleberry. He, Tackleberry. He in 2001. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, I guess I got that little mix up. But I know Bubba Smith, uh, since the last time we spoke, yeah. he passed away. Yeah, uh, Bubba was, was, was a very, very good friend of mine. And I'm real sorry that they missed him. It's been two years now. Sure, sure. Since, 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 since he passed away. And, you know, you know, what can I say? You know, football players are in great health, but, you know, um, you know, he, he went through a lot, 
you know, and when I when I think back about the because uh, his in his NFL days, how many different teams he played for, sure. and and how many people how many people wished that they could get out of the way when he was coming towards them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because you have to think about that. A lot of people tried to get out of the way and couldn't. Yeah, well, so, he's, he's just a big and, guy. And that'll, 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 that'll take a toll on your body, man. Yeah. But, um, but, but you know what? He, he, was a, he was a great guy. I'm glad I got to meet him. Yeah, and he, he, he just like yourself, you know, built a legacy with the with the P- Police Academy films as well as a few other yeah. things that he's done. And, yeah, he, you he know. just turned into a big pussy. He turned into a big pussy cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people will remember him from his, his little uh, thing on uh, Married with Children when he had that little uh, thing with Al, Al Bundy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 some of the Burt, and some of those Burt Reynolds movies. He was in uh, Stroker 8 with Burt. And so he did a lot of, a lot, a lot of, great, a lot of great movies. Man. Sure, sure, sure. But uh, uh, what was I going to say now? There there was a video on YouTube uh, that I see in, uh, here that we actually played on the air here about two or three weeks ago. A song that you did... Uh, because the fact of knowing the fact that you actually sang a, a few tunes, I actually was pretty damn impressed with that. To believe, to be honest with you, uh, the song I'm talking about is uh, "I Am My Own Walkman." That was a pretty good song. If, I'm sure you re- do. You remember doing that at all? Yeah, back in uh, 19 somewhere around there. Yeah, so, so yeah, so, somewhere around there. It was an older video. It's when you had your your signature mustache and stuff. And uh, yeah, that was a. Uh, I liked I liked that song. I uh, that was that was pretty good. And, and and there's and there's more to come. It just, it just it just took a while to really kind of you know mature in terms of music <laughs> and everything else. But uh, but but there there are, there are more things to come, and, and I'm glad to be able to bring it to a little a little less time this year. Sure, sure. Uh, any any new movies that you're working on that you can talk about at all? Oh uh, well, um, besides the, the academy, academy development, there's some. Uh, there's some other independent productions that are coming. Just a uh, big to the Michael Mingo TV, and you'll you'll see something soon. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, and and and, and, if, and if they want to, they can, they can go to a, a Noisy Man uh, on, on on Twitter. It's Noisy underscore Man. And of course, you know me. It's N O I Z E Y in the end. Sure, sure, <laughs> noisy sure. Noisy underscore Noisy underscore Man um, okay. on, on Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Michael Winslow's on Twitter. That's exciting. That's exciting. So uh, and and and, every, and and when and when I have some noise to make, I'll make sure to put it out there properly. <laughs> well, you, know, it, 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 you, you know, it's not going to be like the like the thing when you listen next door. <laughs> oh my gosh! You, you, hang on. What are you doing? This is me and Janie. Yeah, they're in the bathroom. Yeah, they both laughed. We both started at the same time. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a that's pretty that's pretty yeah uh, that's pretty cool, uh, you know. And, and being able to do all these voices and stuff, you know, what uh, I'm probably sure I've asked. What, 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 what noises? What noises you got? What noises do I got? The only, yeah. the, the only noise that I could do is is the the traditional raspberry. You know, that sounds like a big old fart sound. That's all I can do. I, I'm not that talented like you are. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I know you got something. I know you got something up there. Well, I, you know, with being in radio for as long as I have, you figure that it, that I would have something, but I just, I really, I, I suck. I really, really do. I don't know why. I just. Oh. You, you mean you mean to tell me if somebody was to put uh, if somebody was to put a baby pit bull puppy in your hands, you wouldn't change your voice to talk to it. Oh sure! Oh sure! Absolutely! Absolutely! I'd be like, what, then, what, then, what, then what would you say? I'd be like, oh, very, nice. or what a cute little pit bull, or a little, what a cute little puppy. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I would like if you're talking about like speaking dog. I mean, I, I, I suppose it's like a, a wolf or like a bark or something. I don't. <laughs> okay. All right. How about if? How about if Scarlett Johansson? Comes fighting through twenty four guys and beats them all up to the last person, and then goes. <laughs> she comes up to you, grabs you by the neck. <laughs> what you got to see about that, big boy? <laughs> I'd probably, I'd probably poop my pants. That's probably what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> but in other words, in other words, your noise would be. <laughs> you were right, you were right. You were absolutely right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wouldn't anybody do that if uh, if somebody if they seen somebody do that? I mean, holy crap! You know, no pun intended. Here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? That's one of the outtakes for Captain America that we didn't talk about. Yeah, Captain America. Yes, Captain America. <laughs> But what I was going to well, ask... What, we, well, you know what? I, I guess I would do that if 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 um if if if, if, if one of, if one of the show people grabbed me that way. I'm afraid I I have to agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, if if somebody actually tried to freak you out like that and you were not expecting it at all, you see this hot chick and all of a sudden she turns into a freaking monster. Holy moly! That would just be that would do it all for me. <laughs> I have you to, know, you know, it, you know, it would just my luck. It would be Samuel Jackson that'd be grabbing me. <laughs> I got to have your answer right <laughs> and now. Yeah, man, I'm gonna answer you. <laughs> I need a new pair of pants. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. Oh man, he just crapped himself. Oh damn! <laughs> 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 oh yeah! Oh. oh man, what's in your wallet? <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm, I'm actually surprised. You know, he's doing commercials now. The guy who has done like every damn film possible is now doing taking over television now with commercials. <laughs> hey, 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 why not? You know, uh, revenue is revenue. Yeah, yeah. Well, he. The guy, this guy. I mean, that's why I'm kind of surprised. Like, like I, I know what you're doing. You know, it's like you're, you're still out there doing your thing and stuff. But it, you know, for for me to see somebody like Samuel L. Jackson doing all types of films, just like Morgan Freeman, and just like Michael Caine, and all these other people that have done just about every movie you can think of, even Nicolas Cage. You know, even though we haven't really seen anything new from him lately. But uh, you know. Where where where's the Michael Winslow where where's the Michael Winslow movie marathon? Like you'll take over like two thousand fifteen. Every movie that comes out will star Michael Winslow. Whether it's a comedy. Well, well, we, we, I'm, I'm working on I'm working on, on, on some some items that come up where you'll be able to to, 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 to wonder if, if that's possible. <laughs> but I I am working on some uh, some things that are coming up, and it, it'll be it'll be quite strange. I mean, you know, we haven't we haven't heard from the governor lately, Arnold. So. I gotta give him something. I gotta give him. Gotta have to give him a little bit of work. Oh sure. Because uh, people are starting to miss him, man. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Look out! <laughs> oh no, it's a pit bull puppy. It tried to kill me. <laughs> Run to the chopper, little pit bull puppy. <laughs> 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 I heard there was rumors going around that they're making another Terminator movie. Do you know anything about that? Uh, I wonder. What would they call it? What would they call it? Uh, uh, launch of the Pants. <laughs> that they call it Terminator Five Genesis. Genesis. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Good. Genesis. <laughs> yes, because they got to use a bi- biblical term for it too. <laughs> I think. I, th- I think. I think that's the size of a depends. The Genesis size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh man! <laughs> and, and, and what would the trailer be? Be simple, very simple. Let's start off in a world of the future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not again! Generator, <laughs> generator of the pants. <laughs> That would be that would be an interesting spoof trailer. I mean, really. I mean, if, if you could, I could just picture the the visual in my head. Well, we already have the audio, so the visual would be pretty exciting. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, I, I was just trying to figure out where to put Snoop in that, and I couldn't find any room for him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that you never did any of the uh, scary movie films because uh, not just because it was had to do with parody and stuff, but. I, I would have figured that you would have been like a perfect fit for any of those type of films, just because they're well, they're funny. They, they, probably, they, they probably wouldn't let me in because the noise would backfire and kill the crew, so they, they probably wouldn't let me in the movie. <laughs> and I I noticed that they they keep doing like a, you know they haven't done many lately, but they like the the last one was like <laughs> Scary Movie Five, but even like. Uh, I know they're like for the people that directed or filmed the the scare movie the franchise have done like superhero movie and uh, whatever else movie American movie all these other different parodies of you know whatever they're based on themes. I'm just surprised you never got the call just to say hey. Well, you know. it's early yet. Uh, you know, uh, stay tuned. It's early yet because I'm just uh, we're just we're just deploying myself in, in in different areas now, and and now that that new Seth MacFarlane movie's coming out. Yeah. 
And I know it was it a thousand ways, a thousand ways to die in the West. Yep. So uh, if you know what, I, I hope they're heading towards the Blazing Saddles territory because that would really be funny. Oh sure, sure. I I think in a way I don't I don't know because you couldn't make that movie now, which is too bad. <laughs> Oh, they could make a remake of it. I'm sure they were. I don't oh, know if it'd be as no, funny. They, no, they wouldn't because you'd have to pick on everybody. And a lot of folks ain't going to like that. Oh. Oh, oh, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, I suppose with the racial thing, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> I, but you know what? You know what? Um, whoever, whoever whoever pulls it off, good luck to them. Hope they, hope they buy a nice island. <laughs> yeah, I forget how how uh, racist uh, Blazing Saddles was. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I have seen it. And, yeah, it, it was so it, it was so wrong on so many delicious levels. It's like putting Snoop and Mary Poppins. <laughs> so, how, how do you figure that they? How do you figure that back in those days they got away with that? Then I I, I don't know because it was Mel Brooks and Richard Pryor <laughs> writing it. That's why. <laughs> And everybody thought, ah, these two are legends, so everything's cool. It doesn't matter. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because these two guys are crazy. <laughs> and, and for some reason, they're together writing this, and we don't know why. But it, it worked. It was just wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's almost like, uh, well, I don't know. Like, I, I, I used to, like, watch, like, the Monty Pythons and stuff. And, and while they're there. Same, same, same thing. Yeah. Same difference. Same difference. Same difference. Especially, especially with the guy with the horse and the coconut. <laughs> you know that's wrong. But the, but the audience accepts it. Yeah. Well, I think <laughs> I, I think nowadays uh, an audience because now you know with so many remakes that are out there, audiences you know have they they uh, I think they can tolerate some stuff. Now I don't know how far they w- could tolerate it, but I think with the like from what I've seen. From uh, Seth MacFarlane's new trailer of A Thousand Ways to Die in Texas, I know this is not a uh, this is not a pun for his movie or whatever to say he's sponsoring us or whatever. But anyway, uh, I, I've already seen some of the previews that they've allowed on TV. You know, and, yes. there's, and there's one that I would love to tell, would love to say, but I don't think the FCC would love it if I said it. So, <laughs> if I can said well, it clean here. You know? <laughs> well, there's there, there's a. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of. Uh, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of. You know, stuff you can get away with now that, that you couldn't back in the day. You know, but I tell you, there, there's there's some some limits that you can just play with. Some so many, uh, so many edges of uh, uh, sides of the edge. I, I guess. I mean, I, I remember um, when I was a kid growing up watching uh, the Smarties Brothers, and I, I remember them getting fired off their own show for a season. Sure. Sure. Because they went too far, and, and something happened, and, and they ended up getting fired. So they kept the show on the air, but without them. So they tried everything <laughs> <laughs> to, keep, to keep that show on the air. They tried to recover. They tried everything. They had to bring them back. Oh, jeez. So it, 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 it was a triple, you know, so they're going, so how are they going to have this show on the air? And the dude, so the star of the show is it's fired. <laughs> yeah. That, that, and, that, and, that. And, and, and they got to compete with Sonny and Cher. Oh, sure. And they got to compete. And they, they got to compete with with Hee Haw, and they got to compete with Ronan Martin's Laugh In, and and by the way, they got to compete with Bewitched. <laughs> yeah, and that's the biggest competition, Bewitched. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and, and here comes I Dream of Genie and knock everybody up there in. <laughs> wow, I, I, to me it seemed like I Dream of Genie and Bewitched were almost like uh, almost very similar in a way, even though they're different, but they seem almost similar. You know, oh, they, they, are, they are. Well, you know what? It, it, it was the noises. Come on, man! What? What? what uh, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean. Samantha had, had to have the piano chopsticks noise, right? Yeah. Whenever, she, whenever she wanted to put a spell on anybody, right? Yep. Samantha had to have had the had the double chopsticks noise, but but Jimmy had the funky the funky little bass noise. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> she, she had the she had the funky genie bass noise, and, and it just makes me think about it. You know, uh, 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 you know, where would these shows be without those special noises? Oh, absolutely. Noises have definitely came a long way since the days of the fart noise and the burping. We we really have had really uh, advanced ourselves lately, especially on the internet where you can find all these soundboards of of people doing noises and and stuff like that. But it's really cool if you can do them yourself, just like you can. Well, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm working. I'm working on some. I'm working on some new audio toys for everybody to play with. So stay tuned. 
Yeah, there's some new stuff coming. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, there. And, and, and besides, I, I, I really wish they'd bring back those great noises for television because, you know, it, you know, but you know, the last, the last, the last really good noise was, I, I guess, the Law and Order uh, noise when they were for every scene opening. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The bug bugs. I think that was. It, 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 <laughs> there's, there's, there's still good noises out there. It's just, it's just that people got to dig more. Sure. Sure. I mean, like, if you're a wrestling fan, the, the best noise to hear is either, besides the entrance music, is the, the ringing of the bell, you know? And if they go crazy, exactly. you'll hear it many times. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and just make sure you're not the person in the ring when that bell rings. <laughs> uh, I was going to ask you, too, uh, you know, we're talking about retro television and retro uh, comedy and stuff like that. Have you ever heard of the, uh, the comedy duo of uh, Hudson and Landry? Oh yes, of course. Uh, with uh, with the Cast Artel Airlines, Hudson Landry, uh, the, uh, the 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 the, uh, the drunk customer. Yeah, the ATAC, or Ajax liquor store and stuff like that. <laughs> yes, and, and and it was uh, yeah Ajax Airlines. The yeah, covered with the Cast Iron Tail. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. And, uh, that's pretty cool that you. Yeah, know Hudson, Hudson, Hudson and Landry and the Fire Sand Theater, of course. Yeah, because. Uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I have a co-host that does uh, my normal radio show with me, uh, and he he introduced me to the t- comedy duo of Hudson La- and Landry, and I never heard of them prior to being introduced to it. And then I found all their stuff on Spotify and throughout the internet, and I was very very impressed because how how clean the comedy was back in the day, and how they were like radio people that just kind of love to do comedy bits together. Right. Right, yeah, that that was uh, that was back at the same time uh, at Star Center Theater and and in Denver there was a, a group called High Street. They were really really good. They they, they used to, um, but they introduced me to, to to how you can get in trouble on the air in live in, in live real time. Uh, what they would do is um, on the at the FM studio, uh, at Freeform Radio KFML, I think it was. Uh, they would have a television. It turned to where the local TV station, you know, on the air TV, and everybody at home. Listening in on the station would turn their tele- would turn their TVs on to whatever station they were watching, and they would do all they would do all the dialogue over. Oh wow! So it and, and they would, whatever, 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 like, like, okay, everybody, channel twelve, channel, everybody, turn to channel twelve, and everybody turns to channel twelve, and they start doing whatever was doing a soap opera or whatever it is, just whatever it came. It could be because four guys and, and one girl, which is easy because it, because it, one girl could do two two women's parts and and the guy could switch, the guys could switch back and forth. Mm-hmm. forth with their speaking role, and they just messed it up. I mean, they did Charlie's Angels, they did uh, the news, you know, where, where they, they had the local news. <clears throat> That's why, everybody, I'm not wearing any trousers whatsoever. I've got on a wetsuit, and there's a small seal eating away at my toes. <coughs> and now let's get to the weather. Oh, hi. I've got the actual open snow tire. Can you see the trap? <laughs> Thank you for the weather there, Margaret. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of uh, when you're talking about stuff like that. Like, there's a if you, we all we all know who Rowan Atkinson is, the guy who played Mr. Bean. Well, he also did. Oh uh, God, Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean is great, man. Great guy. <laughs> well, he did uh, back in his early days, his uh, pre-Bean days, we'll say. He did the show called as many shows as he's done. Uh, not not the nine o'clock news, and I have that on DVD actually. Uh, pretty funny oh, stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I, I I I remember I remember that. I, I still had VHS back then. Yep, yep, yep. But it was so. And that, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, was, that, that was a, that, that show and um, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Quark, uh, British television Quark, and then there was Doctor Who, of course. Yeah. But, but we're, we're going back five or six Doctor Who's now. <laughs> uh, there was there was also a, a really a really wrong TV show called The Young Ones. Okay. Which is which is British British, 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 British TV. It's a it's a skinhead, a businessman, and a rocker all living in the same apartment. <laughs> hey. It was called it's called the young ones. And they also had a pet hamster that would attack everybody every so often. You could see the string when it was when it was attacking you. It was really bad hor- it was horrible T V. <laughs> but then but then we also we also had uh The Prisoner with uh, Patrick Lagoon, uh, the Avengers, which I loved. Um uh with uh, Mr uh, with Mr. Steve and Mrs. Peel. And then uh, we had oh oh Thunderbirds the rescue man yeah I suppose like when you go overseas I mean you you know you know it's nothing but British broadcast and stuff so do do they have any channels where they show like all the the old shows that that used to be on the air and stuff 
Uh, there, there's a couple of channels when you're, when you're over there, you can see that. Uh, Danger Mouse still plays every so often. Oh, jeez, Danger uh, Mouse. <laughs> and, and, then, and, and then Stingray, Supercar Fireball, like so five. You know, there were, were, were good shows. The Champions was good. You know, it was always really space age stuff. And then um, <clears throat> there was always, you know, your, your secret agent films. You know, sure. and because they, they, were, they were heavy on those. It was always those. And those, you know, those are the things I used to listen to because they had great sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots, yeah, man. Lots of great sounds. Lot, uh, I know Jay- especially, especially Monty, especially Monty Python, because <laughs> it, it was just it was just wrong. <laughs> yes, we we go back to that because uh, yes, I know because uh, it seems like you know, a lot of the British humor. You know, they try to they try to do they try to almost copy America, but then again, maybe us as Americans try to copy them and, and whatever type of humor that they were doing because back in those days. It seemed like a lot of people were similar in the type of humor they were trying to uh, represent. Sure, sure. And we had Ed Sullivan, man. That's that, 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 that the best part because the British, the British invasion was pretty much, you know, through, through, through Ed Sullivan. Yeah. And and but but, but you see, we, Americans, we we get back. We had the doors. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you see, we we had we had we had other ways of of, of 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 hitting back at things. You know, we had the doors. We had Country Joe and the Fish. We had Santana. And, you know, and but, 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 but you know Jimmy uh, Hendrix was a you know Jimmy yeah pretty much went over there went over there and became a convert and 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 became a you know it, Jimmy became psychedelic he became fun you know so it it, it just it, it you know we traded a lot back and forth and and he became sound wise yeah yeah I enjoyed it. and he became one of your best friends even though you guys never met but the fact that you exactly the fact that you can do a Jimmy Hendrix impression or whatever very well that is like. Because I've heard your song, The Night of the Jimmys, many times. I've heard the original recording of it, and I've heard the live version of it, and it, just, it blows me away every time. Every time. <laughs> well, you know, uh, there, was a lot of, there was a lot of great messages in, 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 in Jimmy's messages, really. Uh, and, you know, as rare as they are, what you get to hear, you get to hear. It's, it's great stuff. Um, the, the, same, the same when I, when I see, you know, when I see any, any, any very, very rare outtakes of any Chaplin films. Because you know he had he had most of them destroyed. Sure. But there's a couple. There's a real. There's a real or two of his outtakes, uh, of Chaplin's outtakes, and, and the stuff is genius. Oh yeah, you know from the guy. Yeah, I like I like I like the sound of Chaplin film. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be something, huh? They they'd be like, "You're ruining the movie. Don't put sound in a Chaplin film." No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, but that's why I'm gonna do it because it's wrong. <laughs> So, when it, when it comes like the Jimi Hendrix, uh, uh, would you consider yourself a, a pretty big fan and somebody that listens to his music quite quite often, or or? Oh yeah, absolutely. And and I and I still haven't had a chance to hear the the, the, the new the new things that that um, was just put out recently. Some yeah, of the, some of the new uh, remixes of the songs that weren't released. Yeah, but um, I I've heard a couple of clips and they sound fantastic. So I can't wait to hear it. it it's kind of you know yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like uh, you know, he's been dead for over forty years, but yet he comes out with a new album every year. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> well, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, hearing the, 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 the new Michael thing. I'm looking forward to hearing that too. Oh yeah, because you know, um, I got, to, I got to run to Michael a few times, you know, back in the day, and he was nice to me, so I, had, I have no complaints. Yeah, and you know what I really what I really hate about the media, and I know I'm a media person because I'm on radio, but my feelings about you know just in general is just the fact that you know they they made they made Michael Jackson look like he was a a freaking just a weirdo, and I and I, and I don't like that. I mean I I mean his music, everybody loved his music, you know, and I mean whatever he did, you know, personally is it should not be our concern. He he was an entertainer. He uh, entertained us, you know, and became a legend because of the legacy that he he brought forth. And it's sad that he died, you know, the way he did. And uh, I think even to this day, he'd still be making new stuff, even if it wasn't being on tour, because he loved it. Yeah, yeah I know. It's, uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff we would like to <clears throat> reset and replay, but I'm glad I got to meet him at all. And you know. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid the legacy has to be the music and the stuff, the stuff that we can generate, and the stuff that, the stuff that you can, you know, as a, as a real person, as the stuff that you can talk about. I mean, that, that's going to be the legacy, is, is 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 what we have, you know, because you know, the music, the music really was the same. Sure. So, so uh, we'll, we'll uh, 
last question that I have for you before I let you go. Uh, when we talk about legacy, what do you think the legacy of Michael Winslow will be? What do you think people are going to remember other than just the sounds uh, that you brought to the entertainment world? I'm sorry. I, I, I don't have an answer for you. I'm, I'm right in the middle of mixing uh, mixing some uh, concrete and, and, and building space frames right now. So <laughs> I'm right in the middle of, you know, right in the middle of building things. I have no idea yeah. at this moment. Okay, well, that's about because, it. Because, because, because as a work in progress, uh, 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 well, let me put it to you this way. <laughs> Come over here and speak to yourself. Uh, well, mate, I'm not really sure what the, what the answer is going to be to get it. I'm not really sure. We're right in the middle of building it. We're right in the middle of building it right now, mate. But uh, I'll tell you what, check back with this lighter. We'll see what we can have. Uh, hang on, that's dinner. <laughs> Anyway, that's sounds like Paul Hogan over there. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you know what? Um, you got to do something these days. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. And he, 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 he's our cook. Oh, oh, that's good. Uh, feed you some crocodile and stuff. <laughs> no, we're not going for the exotic menu, just the regular stuff. <laughs> Well, hey, Michael, I, I really, really do appreciate this. I mean, uh, it's been great to talk to you for the second time. I, I call it almost like a once-in-a-lifetime thing, but since it's happened again, uh, I really wish you the best of success. And, uh, you know, if you ever do come to South Dakota, you know, uh, hopefully we can, you know, we got a, a civic center right in town uh, that could book you for, you know, if you ever do a tour throughout South Dakota or somewhere. Uh, we love really, what, what, what's, it, what's it called? The Rushmore Plaza Civic Center. Rushmore Plaza Civic Center. Okay. Well, th- thank you for the tip. I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Absolutely. Yeah, because uh, I think if people found out that you were doing a tour, especially around here, oh, man, I guarantee you'd sell out pretty quickly. I guarantee it. The, Rush- the Rushmore Plaza Civic Center. Okay. Yep. Because they have a they have the main they have the main center for the big concerts and stuff and the ice arena, but they also have like a theater. Like we had like Red Green here uh, a few weeks ago, about a month ago, and I did did an interview with Red Green, and uh, he uh, he did a pretty a hell of a good show at the Civic Center, and so that's where they no- normally have the uh, the entertainers, the comedians, uh, do their stuff at the theater, as you're probably familiar with anyway. Gotcha. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the tip. I'll, I'll look into it. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thank you very much uh, for uh, letting me do this interview with you. It definitely means a lot. It really does. Uh, you take care. It's good to talk to you, man. Yes, you too. And uh, well, like I say, wish you the best of luck in the future. And uh, hopefully, we'll we'll hear from more things about the legendary Michael Winslow. Thank you much, man. You take care. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that. that a, for anybody that was tuned in today, that's a special live treat for you guys. Uh, live interview. Uh, too bad we couldn't do the interview with Larry Cohen, but he wasn't feeling good all of a sudden. So we'll try again later on. He'll probably be one of the uh, when I start my Icons of Pop Culture series uh, interview series uh, starting in July. He'll probably be one of the people that I have on uh, to kick, probably to kick off the the whole the whole thing. But. Uh, Really appreciate Michael Winslow and everybody that uh, helped me get him. Uh, it, I almost feel like these interviews are going full circle now because he was one of the people that I first interviewed. Not the very first person I ever interviewed back in the day when I first started doing radio, but he was definitely one of the people that I that I've talked to before, and it's just great to be able to have a, an updated. And actually, this interview, if you go back to the interview I did with him back in 2006 on my YouTube page, I think this one actually sounds a way better, and and we and we actually talked a lot more, and it was actually more efficient because it was live and stuff and and everything. <coughs> but if you tune in tomorrow, uh, tomorrow during my normal time of Frankie Slauson presents, we will be back from. Uh, well, let's see, what time would that interview be? I believe it's at ten o'clock. I think or yeah, ten o'clock Mountain Time. Well, we'll be back at nine a.m. or about or maybe around nine thirty ish. And uh, we'll be doing a special interview with Mr. Patriot, Mr. Patriot himself, uh, the guy who wrote the song "God Bless the USA," uh, Mr. Lee Greenwood. So keep it locked here. Frankie Slauson presents. Hey, I'm Frankie Slauson. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you tomorrow.
for another great episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.